The country's new mineral resources minister, Gwede Mantashe, who was a senior gold sector trade unionist until a decade ago, disagrees. I always uh, fail to understand this notion of platinum being in crisis. Gold was in two, $250 an ounce when it was in a crisis. Platinum is always smelling $1,000 an ounce. It never crossed the line. And that is a crisis. Yeah? Because at one time it was over 2000 and therefore, we all assume that it's God-given that we'll stay at 2000 and above. Wrong assumption. Every commodity price is cyclical. Uh, if it, it touches the heights, it will touch the lowest. And mining always fails to plan for that. Mining analysts disagree. They insist there is a crisis. I think it would be misleading to ourselves um, as a key player in the platinum sector to say South Africa, we, we don't have a crisis. I raise this because if you saw latest re reports that are coming out globally, they're saying for an economy that has 65% of control over the platinum sector, there seems to be a, a, a lack of clarity on what it is doing to use this to its advantage. Mantashe wants the platinum sector leaders to explain the crisis facing the industry. And I want someone to convince me that uh, over $900 uh, dollars an ounce is a crisis. I want someone to convince me. I don't believe it. Maybe the strengthening of the, of the, of the rand uh, is a problem for the mining industry. The crisis is real and the first cost line that will be tackled will be staff. Lonman indicated some time ago it planned to cut more than 12,000 jobs. And in March, Impala Platinum cut 1,400 people. When the three powerful platinum producers in South Africa are going to realize China is not demanding from them as much as it used to and the market are, is not conducive for them to overproduce, they are going to slow down their production and they are going to try and minimize exposure on themselves by uh, reducing the cost of labor. While platinum producers are looking for new markets and hoping to expand markets they are already operating like those in the car sector, it's likely that there's going to be some contraction and some consolidation. I'm Angelo Coppola for CGTN in Johannesburg, South Africa.